y'all. Welcome to my channel, Sandy Totero, or welcome back to my channel if you've already been here before. I'm very excited to be here to do this reading. I've taken several weeks off. I've been spending time with friends and family. It has been magnificent. I've really enjoyed it. But I'm excited to do this first reading for 2021. I'm ready for a new year, and I know a lot of you people are too. So today I have already pulled the cards for the yes or no pick a card. I do have four piles down here and you will be able to choose the pile that's speaking to you, the pile that you think will answer your question that can be answered with a yes or no. Sorry about that, interruptions already in 2021, but that's okay, life is full of interruptions, right? Thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel and uh, for subscribing to my channel. My subscriber base is growing. I know that's because of you guys. I appreciate you sharing um, information about my channel to people that you think might be interested. And I appreciate you giving a thumbs up to the videos that you like. And that way I know which ones are, um, which ones are appealing to the masses and which ones not so much. It's very helpful to me. It's very helpful to the channel and I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to spend too much time actually with the introduction today. I want to go ahead and get started on this yes or no pick a card. As I said, I'm ready to go. It's been a while since I've done a reading, so I'm excited to be back with you guys. All right, so I will put the camera down so you can make a choice about which pile is going to answer your question and then we'll get on with the reading. See you in a few. So welcome back. These are going to be the options for your yes or no pick a card this week. This is option one, option two, option three, and option four. On option one is a obsidian shaped like an arrowhead. On option two is a um, citrine. On option three, an ameth amethyst. Uh, quartz crystal and on option four is the rose quartz so again um, however you decide however you choose the pile that's speaking to you is the right way for you some people like to um, pick based on the stone. Some people choose based on just the number that they like. Some people choose based on the timestamp, which I will put in the description box below. And then some people just choose kind of intuitively. They'll close their eyes and then when they open their eyes, whichever pile they're drawn to is the pile that they choose. However you do it is going to be the right way for you. So again, this is pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Go ahead and make your decision, and then you can um, go directly to your reading. I'll see you at your reading. So welcome back. If you chose pile one for your yes or no pick a card reading, these are gonna be your messages. Um, I am in the Southwest, so that's why I chose to use that obsidian, arrowhead obsidian today for pile one kind of just gonna pull all the tarot out first uh, and see if we can get a yes or no and then I'll save these Oracle for for later I do have my um, small cards that I like to use for clarifiers if we need a clarifier but let's see if we can find a definitive yes or no with these cards um, so for the radiant rider weight you got the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. It's interesting, Seven is a very spiritual number. Um, and the High Priestess is the number of feminine spirituality too. So just for uh, further clarification, for our message here and what our yes or no message is. I got a few of the Druid Craft Tarot. So you got the Seven of Pentacles, another seven. The Justice card. And the King of Cups.
So I do feel like this is a yes. You got three sevens here. That's really cool. So that's driving that message home. Um, and as I said before, sevens are very, that's a very spiritual number. And that kind of goes along with this high priestess, which the high priestess is the card of feminine spirituality, not religion, but spirituality. And it um, indicates that it's a time to tap into your tuition or maybe to consult um, someone that you trust, generally with uh, like a woman's kind of intuition or a, it's generally a, a woman, but not always. It's more of a spiritual leader though, as opposed to a religious leader. So it might be a time that you contact uh, someone that can help you with your question and you get some guidance from them. But let's talk about these sevens here and what they kind of say. So this seven of swords is the card of taking your leave. It is can be a card of trickery, like there's some things going on behind your back. There's some deceit. Uh, it's, a, it's a card of thievery. Um, but it is always a card of taking your leave. He is walking away. He's walking away from the circus. And the circus can mean anything, really. Uh, but to me, it was it, by, by circus, it means something that was just a joke, pretty much. So he is walking away from that. And you notice he's carrying some of the swords with him. So that indicates even though you're walking away, you're still carrying some of the problems. And you also have to take some responsibility for this situation, whatever this situation is. So um, you do have some responsibility, but you are taking your leave. The Seven of Cups is the card of wish fulfillment. Um, not wish fulfillment. That's uh, It's a card of putting your wishes out in the universe. It can mean that all the options are available to you, but a lot of times it means you're kind of have your head in the clouds a little bit. You spend a lot of time daydreaming and thinking about what you want. This card can mean uh, make a decision, pick something and go with it because work is going to have to be done uh, for pretty much for any wish. Anything that you want to manifest in your life is going to require some action. But if you're daydreaming about wanting this and that and the other thing and uh, you can't kind of see your way clear, then it's hard to take up the mantle. It's hard to take the ball and run with it when you're not really clear what it is that you want. Another meaning for this card, if you notice right in here, that is a person. So sometimes this means a surprise person is coming into your life. I don't know if you guys were asking about a child or a pregnancy. This might indicate that uh, it's a yes and it's kind of a surprise uh, pregnancy to you. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of Mm, it's a card of taking a bit of a time out. You've been working really hard on something. Usually this is indicated it's uh, like a work situation or something that brings you money. You've been, been working on it for a long time. You've been working really hard at it. Now is the time to just kind of take a little bit of a time out and, uh, and think about the progress that you've made and decide whether you want to go forward. So the meaning of the card usually is, uh, it's usually a yes, you do want to move forward, but you do need to take a time out from activity for a minute. So here, this is interesting. You got the Justice card, and the Justice is a major arcana for Libra. Libra is all about partnership, and it's about balance and um, justice and harmony. These cards look really similar to me. Like there's a, um, feminine balance that you're looking for in your life and that, uh, looks like you're going to, you're going to be getting in your life. This feminine kind of balance and intuition and some justice. Justice is coming your way. Um, now, that can be 
like a literal justice, like if you were asking about the legal system or some kind of lawsuit that you have in the legal system, this is saying yes, this is a yes reading. So this says to me that you will have a fair outcome to that situation and it will go in your favor. But a lot of times the justice is just karmic justice. It's like you have been working really hard at something um, It has seemed a little bit like it was pie in the sky. Uh, there's a lot of disillusionment about it. Uh, uh, you are contemplating taking your leave from the situation, not necessarily working out the way you wanted it to work out. So you're taking a little bit of a time out to see if this is really the direction that you wanna go in or if you're gonna continue down this path. And to me, it looks like you are going to continue down this path. Though there have been some things that may have been unfair in this situation in the past, justice is coming. Justice is heading for you to take care of this situation. Listen to your intuition and trust your intuition uh, about this situation as you move forward. But it does look to me like you are going to move forward. The King of Cups is the minor arcana for cancer. It can also be a older gentleman who is very good at relationships. Um, you would consider this person like the PR person. They're good at building relationships and partnerships, that being with the sign of the partner, that partner, Libra's a partner sign. Maybe there's some relationship building that needs to happen here with somebody that you are in partnership with. If you are not a cancer or someone that you're dealing with in this situation is not a cancer, it may be that it's an older gentleman that you can go to for advice about um, your situation. And they're very good at the emotional aspects of it. They have mastered their emotions. A uh, king is at the top of the suit. That means that they have uh, done all the hard work and the soul uh, lessons throughout that suit that they needed to learn and they've kind of mastered it. That's why ha that's how you become a king in your spiritual evolution. So a lot of times women will, will read as kings if, um, if they are at the top of their, of their game. Like if you're talking about a woman who is very emotional um, and wears her heart out on on her sleeve. She's a very loving person. So that's just kind of her nature. A lot of times the cups are associated with the, the water signs. So maybe it's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. It's that kind of woman who is emotional and who is uh, kind of a little bit mysterious, but they're very loving individuals. This can read sometimes as a woman who is at the top of their game. They've mastered the emotions. They um, appreciate their emotions, they um, acknowledge their emotions, but they do not let it, let it rule them. So with this uh, cup energy, this cup's energy, being next to both, I think both of these are women. This justice card is a woman and this uh, high priestess is a woman. This might be, although this King of Cups reads as a older gentleman, might be uh, just a woman, an older woman who is uh, has mastered the cups energy that is going to help you with your situation here. But to me, it is a yes. It's a yes on something that you've been working on. You're not sure if you're moving forward. The, the answer is yes, you're moving forward. Um, so for the Angels and Ancestors Oracle, I just asked, what final words of wisdom can you give to Pile 1 with this yes or no pick a card? And so the card that you got is Mountains, Stand Your Ground. So that, again, tells me, yes, you've uh, reached a resting place, but hold fast, stand your ground. You're on solid ground. Uh, footing here. It is what you're intended to do. You are intended to, after taking a break from it, continue on this path. It is a good path for you. And though things might not have been so great in the past, um, there's a little bit of disillusionment here. There's a little bit of trickery here. 
uh, justice is coming in to rectify this situation so that you can move forward. For the sacred traveler, I ask the question, what does pile one need to do? If anything, what action do they need to take? Oh, this is cool. Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Love that card, that's pretty. Um, so this is interesting, when I sat down, to, when I started doing this reading, I got a, I got a really heavy kind of feeling actually. Um, definitely something that was not light and fun and, and frivolous. Like, I don't know what you're asking about, but it may have been a heavy situation. And um, there, this trickery and, and uh, stuff that's been going on here may have been actually pretty heavy. But this is saying as you move forward, you're not going to have to deal with that anymore. You're, you're on solid footing. You're in a good place. But also this, is, this, is, this bad stuff is over. Karmic justice is coming in to rectify this situation. And as you move forward in this situation, open yourself up to the joy in life and delight, the delight of a child, basically. Um, the energy's lighten up, lightening up on this and uh, you need to open yourself up to that. It's not gonna, don't go, don't go back to the past. Go forward with a new, go forward with what it was that you were working on, but in with a new mindset of, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be harsh anymore. That's being taken care of. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be joyful. It's gonna be delightful. So that's kind of the message from Spirit on that. Okay, that's all I have for pile one. Uh, until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. So welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile two, these are going to be your messages for the yes or no pick a card reading. Pile two had the citrine quartz crystal on it. Citrine is a very happy stone. Joy and happiness, that's what that one's about. I'm going to hold off a minute on the uh, oracle cards here. And I'm going to talk about the tarot first and see if we can find a definitive yes or no in these uh, cards. So the first tarot that I pulled here were a few of the Radiant Rider Waite tarot. And you guys got the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the tower just for further clarification of the message from tarot i got a couple of the druid craft tarot and in those you got the death card and the five of swords Yeah, okay, so I, I'm i going to go ahead and say that this is a no. I don't know what you asked. I don't know how you asked the question, but whatever it is, it is a no. Even though you did get this nice Nine of Pentacles here, which is a wish, wish fulfillment card, and a card of self-sufficiency, you've got an, a number of cards here that are not not necessarily that pleasant. Um, first of all, you got the nine of wands and that's two nines, by the way, and nines are endings. So it might be that something is, um, ending or way of life is ending right now for you or a major cycle is ending right now. Um, the nine of wands is kind of the card of being battle worn. It's, it's struggles really. And wands is energy light, right? So they've just had all of these, um, these energetic struggles here. Uh, overburdened really You've taken on too much probably. And, uh, this kind of does say, actually, th honestly, it's probably not overburdened. It's something outside, I think outside of your control that's been going on in your life um, that you're kind of exhausted with. It looks like there's gonna be one final battle here. And this card is saying that you do 
have the strength and determination to make it through this battle, uh, but you're gonna wanna rest afterward because you're kind of exhausted. So that kind of goes along with this. I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on some of this too, but uh, that kind of goes along with this five of swords. It's a battle card too. Like there's some, some um, negative energy here. There's some fighting going on. Maybe it's internal conflict. Um, usually with the five of wands, it's internal with the five of, it can be more internal with the five of swords. It really is like external conflict that's happening. Like something is, um, let's see, what can five of swords energy? It can be about jealousies. It can be about, uh, you know, just fighting over any kind of a situation. Um, power struggles. Um, there's just negative energy around you, or there has been negative energy, and I say has been because I do see that it is going away. Um, there's been negative energy. You're worn out with it. But it is changing. Um, and here's, this is interesting with this very pleasant Nine of Pentacles card here and being the Wish Fulfillment card. This is also a card of self-sufficiency. So it is a card of being alone, like doing it all on your own. Uh, it generally indicates that you are perfectly capable of doing it all on your own. You have all the resources that you need to do it. But with these couple of cards here around this, this looks to me like it actually might be an ending to this. It might be an ending to, of having to deal with this negative situation on your own. Um, and it, But you have one more battle that you're gonna have to, to deal with on your own. You have the strength that you need. You have the resources that you need to handle this last battle and you will win. You will be victorious if there are any winners in it. That's kind of the thing. That's kind of the harsh thing about the Five of Swords. It's such negative energy that even if you win, there's still, there's still you know, people are hurt by it. Um, there's still some hurt that will have to be healed um, and nurtured. You know, we all have those periods in our life where there's uh, some hurt going on. Some people get hurt, but um, that that is just a part of life. But it does look like this is one. Fi there's one final battle that has to be won here, and you do have the strength to do it. Now. This is kind of a cool thing over here. Um, like I said, it does look to me like this is ending because you have the tower moment, which is an unexpected change. Something happens unexpectedly. You were not uh, anticipating it. There's no, You could have had no control over it. It's something outside of you. A lot of times when a tower moment happens, it, it just sweeps away structures in your life. So however your life is structured um, right now is subject to change. And that could be job, it could be your home life, could be a, a marriage, it could be, to me it looks like it could be aloneness, being single and alone and dealing with things by, your, uh, by yourself. Whatever it is, um, it's, it's a very sudden change. Sometimes it's not for the better. It's not always for the better it, because, you know, shocking things um, are shocking, right? And um, it's sometimes hard to deal with it. But the good news is that it is always for the best. Even though it might not look like it at the time, it ends up being what is best for all people concerned because this, uh, lightning is coming from God. God is striking this down because this foundation was not good. So what's beautiful coming along with that tower is this death card. Uh, it, the death card is a major arcana card for Scorpio, but generally it's just uh, a transformation. Something is changing here. You're at the end of something. It's, it's a sudden change. You weren't expecting it. It goes away. 
but it was supposed to go away. And with the death card, that tells me there's no way to get around it. It's, it's leaving your life, but what, it, what you're transforming into is absolutely beautiful. And it gives you the opportunity to transform into something beautiful. Away from this, away from the what looks like some negative energy and, and feeling like you have to just fight battles all the time. Something happens suddenly that wipes all that away after one last battle and you trans you're transforming your life into something completely new and wonderful. But that can only happen with a death. It, you have to let it go. You can't, don't question it when it happens. When something leaves your life unexpectedly, it's okay. It was meant to be. Uh, try not to question it. Try to just go with it because the transformation is on the, on the other side is going to be beautiful and it's where you need to get to. You have to accept the death so that you can get to the ne new beautiful life. Um, all right, so I'm going to try to get... That is a very, uh, okay, so the answer is no. That's a very general message, so that probably will apply to a broader category of people. Once you start clarifying things, it gets more specific and more specific. Um, so then the message ends up being maybe for one or two people. I'm going to go ahead and try to clarify some of this. Uh, the tower, I will say this about the tower. I mean, usually those are that, that's that happens suddenly on purpose. Like if you knew ahead of time, you would may, maybe make a decision that would not have the same outcome. So uh, the tower comes along to sweep away things that are supposed to be swept away, and I think a lot of times it's supposed to be suddenly because it couldn't have happened any other way. Okay, but I will try to get a clarifier. Uh, why is the tower here? For my pile twos, why is this tower here? Okay, it, so it looks like there is some kind of heartbreak going on here. It can be a breakup. It can be a third party situation. I always say that the three of swords is a uh, kind of a lancing of a wound. What is good about the three of, the, of swords is that this problem has been festering underneath the surface for a very long time. But when you get that three of swords, that means it is the wound has been burst open, so at least now you can deal with it kind of thing, which is a good good uh, place to be. And with these other cards, I like it as an energy. This is not necessarily gonna be ideal. That's not gonna be fun, necessarily. Dealing with what does look like some heartache and it's a sudden, you didn't see it coming. You, you know, you just didn't see it coming. That happens, right? But, but uh, behind that, with your clarifiers, you've got the temperance card and you got the um, eight of wands card. So these are very positive cards that go along with that. Um, temperance is literally a balancing, like there's some things over here that are out of, out of balance here. Uh, the negative energy, the, the heartache, the aloneness, these struggles, that's really out of balance. So on the other side of this tower moment, your life comes into more balance. This is a major arcana for Sagittarius, by the way. Sagittarius might have something to do with your life uh, or this reading. Um, and along with this new sense of balance. This is also a card of alchemy, like blending a little bit of this and a little bit of that to create something that is really cool and new. Along with that comes a plethora of new energy and new ideas and new creativity. This is a full steam ahead card. It means new energy is coming into you, new vitality is coming into you, and new opportunities and options and ideas are coming into you. So the message of the card is you need to 
use it or lose it. So take one of these new creative ideas and run with it after this um, tower moment. Um, something new is coming in that you can run with. And with all of these creative ideas or whatever, you might be able to blend some of them that don't seem to go together. You might be able to blend some of them together to create something that's completely new and wonderful. So let's see if we can get um, clarifier on the death card. Why is this death card here? Okay, so you got people, the uh, Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords is a card of, well, first of all, mine are kind of for Virgo, but it's a card of a woman who is, an older woman, who is, um, uh, she makes her decisions logically. She's very logical. She's very intelligent. She doesn't suffer fools gladly. She's not... Um, She's no, she's no nonsense, but she carries this sword of truth. It's like such clarity of thought this queen has um, that uh, she is, she's very trusted because of that, because she does not let her heart rule her head. She rules with her, uh, with intellect and uh, with her clear, thinking. Now, she can be sometimes be accused of being a little bit bitter. Uh, so a lot of times that card represents someone who again is alone and a little bit bitter. That kind of fits with that. The other card as a clarifier for the death card you got here is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a, this is a minor arcana for Gemini. Uh, but it is also an older king who is very good with the money. He's very good with material things. He's a great businessman. He's a very practical king. Like, people go to him for advice because he just gives very practical advice. Very down-to-earth, very practical, very stable king. I'm gonna get one more clarifier for that uh, death card. I get one more clarifier for that death card. Oh wow! Okay, so you got the King of Cups here. King of Cups is a card for Cancer. It is also a card of an older gentleman who is really good at relationships, who's really good at public relations, uh, who has mastered the emotions, acknowledges his emotions, uh, uses them as part, as a factor in decision-making processes, but does not let his heart rule his head. So very good at relating, but, and, and at relationships too, and relationship building but um, has kind of mastered, has kind of mastered the emotions. He, d he doesn't let them rule him. The other card you got here as a clarifier is the Knight of Cups. And Knights are, it's movement, it's bringing something into your life. Cups are emotions, uh, so they are also relationships. So, this is like something is coming into your life, that death and that transformation that we were talking about. Something is coming into your life in the way of relationship. To me, the death is of having to do it on your own, of the solitude of it, of uh, the self-sufficiency. You're getting a partner. Some of you are getting a partner. Um, that comes in to uh, start something new in the way of relationship. Could be a Gemini, could be a Virgo, 
could be a cancer. But to me, this just also represents the uh, transition from the, I don't wanna say bitter, but having to do it on her, on her own, this woman, it's very having to do it on her own, uh, self-sufficient, having to keep her wits about her because and this can be a male or female. I'm just reading the cards here. These are women right here. Has to keep her wits about her because she's she's on her own. She's doing it by herself. She can rely on nobody else but herself. That's ending. That's ending. And what's coming is stability. This is a stable king here. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's stability, a stable. Uh, so what's coming to you in love is an end to the... Being alone and what's coming is a stable relationship with someone that is actually good, is a stable person and is actually good at relating. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that message is not going to be for everybody, but I feel like um, I feel like for a lot of you, that's the it's an end of having to deal with it on your own, of struggling by yourself. Uh, with all these issues that are uh, these people, maybe it's people, it's negative energy that's around you. That's all ending. That's going to something that's going to come out in the open, whatever it is. Uh, that last thing that you have to deal with, at least it's out in the open and now you can deal with it kind of thing. But um, the easier time you have with accepting what has happened so that you can move forward, the better things are going to be for you because on the other side of all this, there is, is new energy. There is new balance in your life. There is new love in your life. There is romance, actually. There is um, a partnership for you on the other side of this. Although it doesn't look, you know, just terribly pleasant right at this moment. It will later, I promise. Okay, so for the angels and ancestors, I just asked, what final words of wisdom do you have for my pile twos? And the uh, card you got is wise one, grow within your current situation. And here's what I'll say about this. Uh, so... You might be wanting to, maybe you were asking a question about, am I going to, you know, get away, do, do I need to get away from this? Do I need to move, you know, somewhere else? Do I need to go away and not deal with this situation anymore? Um, no, you don't. You need to stand fast. You need to stay where you are. There is a lot for you to learn from this situation that is growing, that is going on right now. You need to grow, you will grow emotionally and, and in the way of your evolution, your soul evolution. You will grow as a result of this situation right here. You're here for a reason. You're in this situation for a reason. It is for your spiritual growth and you need to stay where you are. So for, oh my gosh. <laughs> so for the sacred traveler, I asked the question, what does pile two need to do, if anything? What action do they need to take? And you got traveling lightly, simplify your life. Traveling does not mean actually get out on the road after I just said, no, you need to stay here and deal with the situation. <laughs> it's not what it means. This means um, it's time to do a cleansing of the things in your life that no, are no longer serving you, the things in your, in your life that are negative, that are weighing you down, these struggles that you're involved in, uh, the heartbreak, it's, time, it's trying to clean all that out, simplify your life and move forward where you're at. Move forward in your current circumstance but only take those things with you that are necessary. Simplify your life. Okay. That was a lot, my pile twos. So let me know how this turns out. Um, 
put a comment down below and tell me what all the I, I it is it is definitely gonna be good. You got a little bit of a bumpy final ending here. It's it's the, at the ending though. There's a little bit of a bump here in the road. You clear it out though, and then you move forward into a much better place on the emotional level, on a spiritual level, uh, on a relationship level, energy level, creativity level, uh, and just more balance in your life. Okay, so that's all I have for Paul Tooth. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. So welcome back, Pile 3s. These are going to be your messages for the yes or no pick a card. Pile 3 had the uh, Amethyst Quartz Crystal. Uh, hold off on the Oracles for a minute, and I'll just take a look at the Tarot first to see if we can get a definitive yes or no for you guys. I chose some Radiant Rider weight Tarot, and y'all got the Sun, the Three of Wands, the Strength card, and the King of Cups. Just for uh, further clarification of the actual message itself, I pulled a couple, three for you guys, of the uh, Druid Craft Tarot. You got the Eight of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, first of all, this is definitely a yes in a yes or no reading. Uh, the sun is always a yes, uh, but you've got so many cards that support that, uh, that it's definitely a yes for me. So, the sun, as I said, is like the most positive card in the deck. It's always a yes. It's, it's actually a card of breaking free from the past and moving forward to your bright, beautiful, joyous, happy life. It's just very, very happy and positive. Interestingly, um, the strength card is the major arcana for Leo and the Leo is ruled by the sun. So maybe, maybe there's some Leo in your chart, heavy in your chart. Maybe a Leo plays into this yes for you, whatever this yes is. But the strength card just means that uh, what you're getting ready to do, what's happening in your life, will require some strength, inner strength, uh, to get through it, but you have the strength that you need to get through it. And this card also talks about the strength being a feminine strength, like using tact and diplomacy instead of brute force to work through the situation. This card right here, the Three of Wands, is probably, the Two of Wands and Three of Wands are probably some of my most favorite cards in the deck. I love that they're uh, looking out on the whole world and making decisions about what direction that you wanna go in. Um, I love that there's so much invent adventure involved in it. In this particular case, there could be some travel involved in your question. Uh, I know that we're still not traveling too much right now, but, you know, that's always, that's subject to change anytime. We'll, we'll see how things shake out with the pandemic. But the Three of Wands comes right after the Two of Wands. And if you remember, the Two of Wands is he's standing on the edge of the world. He's taking a look out at what he wants to do. A twos are decisions, right? So it's which direction do I want to go in? The Three of Wands is having made a decision and being at the beginning stages of that adventure that you have chosen. So in the Three of Wands, you're taking up the wand, the energy, the creative idea, the um, adventure, whatever it is that you've decided to do, you've picked it, picked it up, you're running with it, and you're moving forward. And this opens up your whole world too, by the way. So the King of Cups is Minor Arcana for Cancer, but it is also an older gentleman who is really good at relationships, could be a PR person. Um, they're good at building relationships, can be a partner, uh, has something to do with your situation. You need a partner to do what you need to do. Uh, can be someone that, it can be you. You may be a Cancer, you have, uh, 
a cancer may be involved in your yes, whatever your yes was, but it's, it has to do with emotions and um, relationships. So all of these cards down here are pinnacles. So this tells me, at least for some of you, you asked about a job. You asked about work, you asked about career, you asked about your, um, yeah, your material stuff. Um, the Five of Pentacles is, can be the card of poverty, can be the card of being cast out in the cold. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, a lot of times I read as making the decision to go it alone rather than doing, um, doing, um, what you need to do inside of an institution. Uh, and I tell you why I say that because, like I said to me, these are, it looks like you are being offered something in the way the Prince of, of Pentacles is kind of like, mm, kind of like the Knight of Pentacles and Knights are bringing things in your life. That's movement. Something is coming into your life. So something is coming into your life in the way of, a job offer uh, can be an acceptance to an institution that once you get your education will lead to a money making venture but you are being offered something something's coming into you uh, in the way of financial gain job uh, or potential for financial gain in the future the eight of Pentacles is making money at something that you love. He is, it is a card of an apprentice, so it may be that you are getting a new job and you will have a period of uh, learning. Everybody does when they start a new job, right? There's a period of learning. But it also indicates doing something that you love and being so focused on that. You're just focused on that which you love. The pinnacles are just stacking up without you ever really even noticing it. So whatever this, first of all, it's just a very positive and lucrative yes. It's a, a, a yes to adventure. It's a yes to being able to um, have the strength to do what you need to do to meet your goal. It's a yes to... Uh, maybe finding a partner, maybe in love, maybe in business. It looks like it might not be. The Leo is one of two cards for me that represents business owner, entrepreneur. The other one is Aries. So with this card showing up in this, it looks like this business thing that is a definite yes. This There's a lot of material stuff here might be outside of an institution. It might be a contract position or it might be a remote position. You know, that's very common right now. You're doing something remotely, but you're not inside, like you're not going to a corporate job every day. It's some, uh, something like that. Like a, like you will be an entrepreneur. You're getting a way to become an entrepreneur, maybe through some financial gain that helps you start your own business. Uh, whatever it is, you're doing what you love, so the wealth is building. Uh, maybe you're getting an opportunity to do what you love through a, um, through a company, but you don't work for the company, like it's a contract, like I said. Like you're still your own boss, but you agree to do X for this company for X amount of dollars, that kind of thing. Um, so what else? It's just a, just a very general yes for whatever it is that you asked about. If you asked about travel, overseas travel, yeah, it's happening. Um, you know, still in the pandemic phases, so. Might, you know, might not happen tomorrow, but it looks like it is going to happen. All right, so for the Angels and Ancestors Oracle, I just asked 
what words of wisdom can you give to pile three? And you got seer, see beyond the current situation. So that just may mean that um, for those of you who will have to, it's like an educational thing. You have to do some work up front. You're in a, an educate, a learning mode up front. Um, sometimes that can be hard. Sometimes that can be a little bit of drudgery or seem a little bit like drudgery, especially if you know, you've had many jobs in the past. It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta start over again. I've gotta learn from the ground up again. First of all, it's temporary. It's not gonna last that long. Second of all, you still, you have so much experience that you can draw from in your past that will help shorten this time for you when it would probably take somebody else a lot longer. And thirdly, it uh, rise above it. Don't, uh, look beyond the current situation, and it will. It's going to get better. It's going to get wonderful. It's going to be beautiful. You're you're jumping off into your very happy, fulfilled, amazing future. So, whatever little details you might have to take care of right now, any kind of learning phase that you might have to go through at first, it's okay. Be patient with it and look to how amazing it's gonna be once you're done. For the sacred traveler, I asked, what does pile three need to do? If anything, what action do they need to take? And you got surrendering to the journey, release control. Mm, yeah, again, uh, this feels like it's something that, it's from, first of all, it's just, super positive, but it feels like something that's faded. It feels like you probably shouldn't push too hard for whatever it is that you asked for. Uh, do what you can do and then release control and let spirit guide you through the process. You're surrendering to the journey. And for some of you, it really is travel. There is a journey involved. Are you moving or um, got a wise old owl in the tree up here? And just release control. Just go with it. Just, just go with it and rise above. See beyond the current situation. Relax. You got this. It's amazing. You're moving into your fantastic, wonderful future. Um, and all systems are go. Just enjoy the journey. Okay, that's all I have for my pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile four for your yes or no pick a card reading, these are gonna be your messages. And pile four had the rose quartz on it. I'm gonna hold off on the oracle for just a second and focus first on the tarot cards that I drew. This is gonna give us just the general message that will tell us if this is a yes or no for you guys. For the Radiant Rider weight, you got the Hanged Man. You got the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Uh, for just further clarification on the message, I got a couple of Druid Craft Tarot cards. You got the Wheel. And you got the Prince of Cups. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this is a yes for sure because the Wheel of Fortune is turning. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Fortune shines upon you. Um, things are moving forward. Tens are endings and beginnings at the same time. So things are moving forward for you. And it looks like maybe after a period of stagnation, this hangman I call an adult timeout. 
because it means nothing's moving forward at the moment. It is literally taking a time out, sometimes self-imposed, sometimes imposed by circumstances outside of your control, but it's a time out to look at things from a different perspective. But the, the truth is, it is suspended animation. Nothing is moving forward. Well, that's kind of where you've been at the pa in the past, um, but now the wheel is turning. It, things are moving forward and it's moving forward in your favor. So that is really cool. So what's, what's this yes about? Well, for some of you, it's about work. For some of you, it's about love. Um, because these two cards kind of go together here. You got the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of apprenticeship. It's a card of doing something that you love and focusing so completely on that thing that you love to do that uh, you fail to notice all the pinnacles that are stacking up. Pinnacles are money, right? Those are material things. So it is, it can be a card of working under somebody else and learning a new job. Uh, it's, but it's a very positive card for taking up something that you want to do, something that you love doing, and turning it into a profit. That goes with this Queen of, Queen of Wands here, which is, um, it's a very fiery queen. It can be an older woman who uh, is just passionate and energetic and positive. That's kind of what the fire signs are. And uh, this woman kind of has it all. She has, she's great at business. She's great at her family life. She, she can do it all. Um, but it is the minor arcana card for Leo. And Leo is one of my cards of uh, business ownership or entrepreneurship. Aries is the other one. So for some of you, yes, it is a yes for moving forward with a business idea that you have that is going to be one of your own that's taking um, something that you love to do, something that you've want to t wanted to turn into a business for a long time. Things have been at a standstill, but they, that is not the case anymore. Fortune is shining upon you. The wheel is moving forward, and it may actually be money. It may actually be fortune. Like fortune is coming to you. The money is coming to you so that you can uh, break out on this business. Okay, you've got two cards here of romance. You got the Page of Cups, which is a minor arcana card for Pisces. Um, but then you also got the Prince of Cups, which in the regular Rider Waite deck would be the um, Knight. So Knights are, this is movement, right? He's on a horse. The Knights are always movement. So this is like love, romance, relationship coming into your life. This is being offered something in the way of rela uh, emotional healing, romance, and then this is romance coming into you. So if you ask the question, it, you know, is some, you know, will I meet somebody new? Is somebody, you know, and it's a romantic relationship coming for me? Like, is, am I gonna meet somebody that I wanna go out with? That's a yes. And it's gonna, it's, it looks very positive. Of course, it's gonna be in the beginning stages and you never know how it's going to uh, turn out in the end. But in the begin, as far as what we're looking at in the beginning, it looks like a positive relationship. And who knows, it could work. Here's a key right here. So the Page of Wands, or the Page of Cups here, if you notice, has this fish card, or this uh, cup, in his hand and it's got, it's got this fish jumping out of the cup. To me, this always there's always an element of fun in this card. Don't forget to have fun. When you meet this person, when this person comes into your life, don't take it all so seriously. Have fun with them, get to know them, um, enjoy their company, enjoy doing things together. Uh, this does not have to be the one that you marry, right? So just remember to have fun with it. So this is a yes. It is a yes for 
Um, it actually could be a good positive card for money if you're asking if some money is coming in. If you asked if you are moving forward, if things are moving forward for you, that is a yes. The stagnation is over. You're moving forward. Um, it's a yes for starting some kind of business proposition. It's a yes for romance, for love coming to you. So for the Angels and Ancestors Oracle, I just asked the question, what words of wisdom do you have uh, for pile fours, you got air guardian, shift your perception. So I will say that along with this, which is also looking at things from a different perspective, I feel like it might help you move forward if you uh, take a look at how you're looking at things and shift your perception. Like if you tend to, um, if you tend to the negative and some, you know, we can be like, everybody can be like that at certain times in our lives, but uh, some people are just like that by nature. They do tend to toward looking at the glass half empty instead of the glass half full. This is saying shift the way you're looking at things and this comes faster to you. So look on the brighter side of the situation. Focus on that which is wanted and not that which is not wanted. And for the Sacred Traveler, I asked, what, if anything, does Pile 4 need to do? What action do they need to take? And you got Narrow Pathway, Tread Thoughtfully. Okay, so whether this is for you an entrepreneurial opportunity or whether it is a new relationship, this is saying, okay, so um, anytime that you are starting on something new, there's the the journey is long ahead it is not a race um there will be some things that you need to navigate in this new whatever it is that you're doing business or, or romance whichever one it is take your time go slow and tread thoughtfully through the process whichever process this yes is for you whether it's business or whether it's a relationship Take your time, go slow, and be thoughtful and mindful about it. Okay, so that's all I have for pile fours. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.